everybody, it's Kelsey Brianna J here with a review, swatches, and a tutorial using some new products from Juvia's Place. And I'm so excited to finally have them and do this video for you all. So if you all have never heard of Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place is a black owned business and they create Afrocentric type products. So the imagery from the brand is Afrocentric as well as the names and the colors are very rich and pigmented and they are aligned with the African heritage. So I love the brands, I love the concept of the brands. This is right up my alley. So I picked up two things from the new launch. Let's first talk about the highlighters. So they came out with three new highlighters. I picked up one. I have the volume two highlighter. Here's the packaging of my highlighter. So I love, love the imagery. Like love it. It stands out from anywhere. Here's what the box looks like. Super cute, right? So these highlighters retail for $15 individually, or you can buy it in a bundle with all three for $43. The highlighters do come with a mirror. And here is the volume two highlighter. So it's in the middle, there's one lighter, the volume one, and then there's one darker, the volume three. So here's what the highlighter looks like. In their highlighter, they have the logo embossed. It says Juvia's Place, which I think is really cute. So this is like a mid-tone type gold highlight. I have it on now, and it matches my complexion pretty well. Next, let's talk about the eyeshadow palette so I've done videos on other Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes before I will have all of them linked down in the description box so I already knew what to expect in terms of formulation this is the newest addition to the line the tribe palette how dope is this packaging it is like bam in your face and I love that about it the brand is not afraid to go there they are not afraid to embrace color here's the actual palette it has pretty much the same imagery as the box this eyeshadow palette is beautifully curated I love the color story of this palette there are nine eyeshadows in this palette and these pans are huge there is 32.4 grams of product or 1.14 ounces of product. So this palette retails for $20, but for this palette to be so colorful, I think that it's pretty versatile. I feel like I can do a lot of different looks with this palette, but mainly this palette is bold and it's not for the faint of heart. So I wanna go ahead and jump into the swatches of this palette. I will swatch it row by row. Following swatches, I'm gonna jump into the eye demonstration. I will walk you through step by step on how to create this look, and then I'll show you all what the highlighter looks like and we'll apply that together and stay tuned till the end of the video and I will share with you all my final thoughts on these products but let's go ahead and jump into it So the first color that I'm going to take out of the palette, I'm gonna go in with the color Maasai and a Royal and Lang Nickel BOM44 blending brush. And I am going to take this back and forth above my crease as my transition color. So just back and forth. Plus I want this color to be somewhat light and whimsical as my transition color. So that looks really good. Using the same brush, I'm going to go into the color Tetsi. And let's move down ever so slightly and apply this directly in the crease. And our first color is going to help us blend it out and it'll look like a nice gradient effect. So I'm not going to take this color too far above this crease area, but because I'm using this really fluffy blending brush, it's going to diffuse the color for me. So this is exactly how you want to blend it out to look like. Now I'm going to go in with a more tapered blending brush. This is a Wayne Goss number 17. And I'm gonna take the color San, maybe San. And I am going to take that right on the very outer corner and apply it pretty concentrated on the lid and then blend it up towards the crease. So apply the majority of the color on the lid on the very outer corner of the eye. And then with no additional product, take the tip of the brush and diffuse that little edge right there to where it blends in seamlessly with the crease color. We're not gonna take this color all over the lid. We're just gonna stop it right here on the outer corner and make sure you diffuse that outer corner as well so it's nice and blown out. Now I'm going to take my flat shader brush. This is an Isom W21 brush and I'm going to dip into the color Koro. I want this color lightly underneath my brow and make sure you blend it downwards. Same brush and same color, and let's pop that on the inner corner. 
I love this color. As you all can see, it looks like a pop of green on the inner corner. But I packed it on and I took it about here and I stopped. Next, I'm going to take the same brush in the color Shaga. I am going to apply this on the lid. Oh, this color is pretty too. So I'm making sure to blend it next to our inner tear duct color. And then blend it up towards the crease, but not all the way to the crease. Like kind of on the edge of where that crease is stopping, that's where you want to stop this color. And then I'm going to bring it over just a little bit, but make sure not to use up this entire space because I do want to put one more color there. So that's about as far over as I'm going to go. As you all see, I did leave a little bit of a space open and I'm going to fill that in with the color in just a second. Same brush and I'm going to take the color Cuba. In that space that I left open, I'm going to apply this color. Careful not to cover up Shaga right here in the middle make sure to blend it next to the outer corner color and then make sure to tap it on the edge of shaga and then bring it up towards the crease so now i'm going to take a wayne goss number five brush and go back with the color coro and i am going to take that on the lower inner corner and wrap it around same brush and i'm going to go back with Masai. i am very carefully going to take this on the middle of my lower lash line make sure to connect it I actually am going to go in with a little bit of my MAC Paint Pot and lay in low. And I am going to create a base for my matte eyeshadows to adhere to. So now I'm going to go back with Masai. I think it'll adhere better and look better. Same brush and I'm going to go back in with Tootsie. Over blend on Masai on the middle. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with the same brush and the color sun or sand and connect that to the top so apply it on the very outer corner and make sure to wrap it around and voila i'm gonna go ahead and add liner and lashes and then i'll be back to show you the final eye look and we can play with the highlighter after that so here's the final eye look so now let's apply the highlighter It's very smooth and very pigmented. I like the way it looks. It's definitely a traditional golden highlighter. So here's the final look all together. I love it. This palette is so bomb and so beautiful. The formulation of these eyeshadows and the price point of this palette is unbeatable. This palette is so unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Every color is so beautiful. I love the surprise that I got with this color Coro. And then you swatch it and it's a whitish gold with a green shift. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, they've just outdone themselves. I love this. If you guys have never picked up Juvia's Place palettes, I highly encourage you to go ahead and check them out. They're sold in Ulta now. They're newer launches. Sometimes it takes a while to get to Ulta, so I got this one from their website. It goes in and out of stock for a reason. That's because these eyeshadows are bomb. This palette is bomb. So pretty, so different. This color combination is just unexpected, and it works. It is absolutely to die for. This formulation of eyeshadows swatches dryly, so just make sure you have an emollient base so you definitely need an eye primer or like a paint pot from mac or like a creamy concealer to make these colors pop but once you have that on baby this is beautiful beautiful i love it while i feel like this highlighter is beautiful i don't feel like it's 100 necessary to my collection i have a ton of different highlighters uniqueness aside this highlighter is really beautifully formulated it's very very smooth i love this color it really pops on my complexion it almost looks like it's going to be dark but then when you swatch it it gives you that nice gold pop so I'm here for it. I love the way it looks. I love the way it looks with my look. If you're in the market for a new highlighter, why not grab this one? This highlighter's formula reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter formula in their glow kits. So if you like that type of formulation, then you'll like this because it's pigmented, it's smooth, and that color is beautiful. Let me know if you all have ever tried anything from Juvia's Place before. I will have links to my other Juvia's Place videos down in the description box. It's been a minute since I picked up one, but I just couldn't resist this color combination and I'm glad. 
glad I got it. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments section. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are subscribed, make sure you turn on that bell notification. That way you all are notified whenever I upload a new video. And I will talk to you all in my very next one. Smooches. Bye.